Hi guys, welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're going to do a grip check before we go to Stockholm. So yeah, let's get into it. Always good to make sure that you're sure your grip is where it should be. If a grip goes slightly awry, you get all sorts of funny things happen, but you've got no idea what's happening. And so people start changing their swing, but it actually, oftentimes it's just a grip issue. Fix the grip, you don't have to do any big swing changes. So I'm gonna show you what Cassie and I have been looking at um, just recently. Now we're gonna go in and see, now this is a super strong grip because we've got one, one, two, three, nearly four knuckles. We can almost see the thing looking face up. At some stages, it sometimes feels like we're all the way around here. Now, because of that, the club, the grip wants to go, go back to its normal position, which is there, which is a, a twisting of the hands. So what we found was Cassie was getting a few left hookers. We're trying to make sure that the hand isn't quite so strong. Okay, so that's where we were. Now she's just turning the hand, the, she's just turning, that's gone, that's gone way too far. You've gone from there to there, that's too much. So we won there, we just wanna about there. So we can see this, that's where she, let go of the club and let your arms hand naturally. That's where her hands hand naturally. So that's where they'll return to. So we can see the um, FJ kind of, pointing t nearly toward us, but not quite as much as that. That's where she is naturally, and that's where her, we want it on her club. When it's like that, when she gets the ball, the hand turns naturally here, and that turns the club to the left and causes a little bit of a overdraw, or if she gets the swing too, too much around her body, it causes a big hook. So get yourself set up where you think you should be now, Cass. There we go. That's good, that's good. That's perfect, okay. And that was perfect, straight, probably two yards of draw. So this is called the grip check. We just gotta make sure that we don't get too far for her. And same again, if your hands around there, that's too weak, isn't it? So we have to just make sure, let go of the club again, Cass. And uh, let your arms hang. As a guide, where the club hangs naturally, that's about where the club and the hand should be gripping. So Cassie can see about half of the foot joy there. We have it in the fingers, over the grip. This is my normal start um, grip. Cassie was kind of there. We don't want to be quite so far because that's her normal. Without, with her hands hanging there, it's here. So when we put the club on the club, it should be around here. If it's too far, the club will turn. If I go like that, as I come through, my hands will turn to where it naturally hangs and the club face will turn left, which is why we've had a lot of left hooks. Marcus facing directly to me, which is too strong. As I come down, my hand wants to go back to its normal position. It will turn the club face a little bit. And causes the left. It, it goes left. It might be just because the hands are just returning to their normal position. You do that once or twice, you think, oh my God, what's going on with my swing? I can't fix it. But it's just literally because you're, in Cassie's case, it's too too strong. You can see all the knuckles there where it should be, where the hand hangs naturally, which for me and for Cassie is about half this facing us rather than all of it facing us. So when we fix that, same, same swing, fixed grip, Boom, head straight. Good, so we've got half showing there rather than the entire thing, okay. Okay. Dead straight. Oh, 
that is a beauty. Oh, awesome. Let's finish off with the awesome shot there. Was that spot on? Yep. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up button and subscribe. Bye.